Tesla is about to release their biggest update ever. We're talking an all new redesigned Model 3 with 12 huge changes that is going to take the EV and really the entire auto industry by storm and showcase exactly why Tesla is gonna be number one. After months of leaks, rumors, spy shots, drone videos, this car is finally about to be released. But despite all of the hype and all the news, there's some good news here and some bad news you need to know because many of you are going to hate these changes and should buy a Model 3 right now before it's too late. So let me tell you everything we know about the new Model 3 right now and also what's expected to change with the Model Y as well. Let me break down the good news, the bad news, all the latest leaks and rumors because there have been some significant uh, new changes and developments over the last couple of days. And let me tell you the top 12 changes Tesla is going to make that some of you will love. And again, well, some of you are absolutely going to hate. Also, I'm doing a giveaway in this video. Stay tuned to learn how you can win some free Tesla merch at the end of this video. And also a very big thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. So just to sort of set the stage for why this is such a big deal, look no further than the original Model 3 reveal event that happened all the way back in 2017. The car you see on stage is almost, well, basically the car we have today. Very little has changed except that really nice matte gray color. Oh, I wish that was an option today. And while Teslas have gotten better over the years, the Model 3 really hasn't changed all that much since it originally hit the road. In fact, really the two biggest upgrades this car has gotten, at least in terms of visual changes, have been the refresh center console and the Chrome delete from the factory that came out in 2020. But while that's been the story for the last few years, that's not gonna be the case for much longer. That's because Tesla is preparing to launch an all new redesigned Model 3 that will be the biggest upgrade this car has ever seen since it originally came on the scene. Nothing about this upgrade is minor. We're talking an all new frunk, a new trunk design. We've got a brand new interior tons of new features, lots of improvements, quality life improvements here that are gonna be really nice to see. And you're gonna notice here some other bad changes that are coming that are super controversial right now in the Tesla community. I'm gonna tell you what those are. But let's start though with the big exterior changes. What are you gonna notice when you actually see this thing driving down the road? And uh, well, we can actually kind of answer that. We have seen plenty of leaks of sort of the outside of this vehicle. We've seen uh, camouflage Model 3s making their way across uh, California. And from what we can see from this car, the big changes here are gonna happen on the front, on the back and on the inside. The main body of the car looks mostly the same, though some rumors say this new model will be a little bit longer. In fact, here is an alleged leaked image of this new leaked Model 3, and you can see some significant design changes are going into this all new model. And while this all new Tesla Model 3 is going to be getting some really significant upgrades over the current model right now, something else in your life that could be getting a pretty significant upgrade is the way you use your phone your computer and your tablet every single day. That's because all your devices can now connect to the internet in a way that is safe, secure, super speedy. And that's all made possible by this video sponsor, Surfshark VPN. And not only have I been personally using Surfshark for as long as I can remember as my personal VPN, but also the money from this sponsorship directly goes to helping this channel be better. It helps me do more videos, do more coverage on uh, cool Tesla stuff, invest in better gear. Thank you, Surfshark. This would not be possible without you. It's gonna keep you safe and secure online wherever you are, making sure you're never being tracked or snooped or spied on. The second thing that I love is that it's gonna work on all your devices super seamlessly. That is PC, Mac, iOS, Android, computer, tablet. And also I just really love that it is extremely easy to use. In just a couple of taps on your phone or a couple of clicks on your computer, your connection can be secure in a matter of seconds. They've got over 3,200 servers across 100 plus countries, makes it really simple to make sure you're really getting the best deals on those travel prices. And also is gonna make it really easy to watch geo-locked content you wouldn't otherwise be able to watch unless you were in a specific part of the world. Purchasing a 24 month VPN plan is seriously one of the best options you can find right now. And also Surfshark has a bonus for you guys watching this video, and that is three months extra totally for free. If you wanna get started and check it out for yourself today, just scan the QR code on screen or click the link down below in the description and use my promo code Rosenfeld. Be sure to use that promo code Rosenfeld to get that extra bonus. Scan the QR code on screen or hit the link down below to learn more and get started for yourself today. We've got some all new super sleek headlights. We've got what could be a badgeless frunk with no Tesla emblem. 
And the whole look of this is very Tesla Roadster Model S X. X-esque. Model S-esque. There we go. It's basically looking a lot like the higher end Tesla's very sleek, very nice design. And one of the other big additions here is that the frunk you see in this picture might finally be powered. We're gonna finally see a powered frunk on a Tesla. Should be coming first to this all new Model 3. Thank you, Elon. The back of the car is also expected to get some pretty big updates as well. And while we haven't gotten a very clear shot of what this design is going to look like, from what we can tell from the camouflaging and from what we've heard from various sources, looks like this is going to be the back of the car. Basically, it's a render of what we believe it's going to be. Uh, again, all new taillights here looking very futuristic and a very prominent and distinctive new look for this refresh Model 3 that in my opinion, looks really, really good. Now, when it comes to design, one of the big questions about this new Model 3 is could we see some new colors? It has been many, many years since Tesla's upgraded the colors for the Model 3 and really the Model Y for that matter. Yes, there is, um, what is it, the new, uh, midnight silver, or I should say quicksilver and midnight cherry over in Europe and other parts of the world. But here in North America, we've gotten no new colors and there's been a lot of speculation as to when that could change. And according to Elon and Tesla's design chief and some other various sources, some new colors could be coming to more parts of the world, including here in North America, very soon. We've heard for the last few months that Tesla is working to upgrade their paint capabilities at the paint shop at Giga Texas to match that of Giga Berlin, so that it would be capable of producing these beautiful new colors. And it seems like things could go basically three ways. One is that Tesla doesn't do any paint changes, which would be sad for this all new, beautiful new Model 3. The second thing is that they do bring over the colors we've seen over in Europe. So that would be again, Quicksilver and Midnight Cherry over to North America and other parts of the world. So we finally have some new colors. And um, we've also heard that Tesla is testing a new sort of abyss blue that would be there as well, which would basically sort of round out the line um, with all new colors. So Tesla would replace every color but black or white with an all new color. So we'd get a new silver, we'd get a new red, we'd get a new abyss blue, and that would be that. I guess there's an alternative that maybe Tesla just sort of brings over ultra red since that's on the S and the X and they're already producing that at Fremont. So that's also a possibility, but we don't know. I mean, the fact that the entire Tesla Model 3 line is going down at multiple factories across the world to accommodate this new design and new production process probably means it's a good time to also upgrade the paint colors too. Not sure if it's gonna happen, but uh, I for one would love to see some new paint options here on the Model 3 and also the Model Y for that matter. It's time, Tesla. It's time. One of the other big parts of this refresh is that it's finally going to bring the Hardware 4 system over to the Model 3. Hardware 4 is more cameras around the car. It is higher resolution cameras around the car. Uh, also, the Model 3 is expected to get a front bumper camera, which could finally give us a true bird's eye, top-down 360 degree view, which would be very, very nice to see. And uh, if you've been paying attention, this is kind of important because as of right now, uh, Hardware 4 is only not on the Model 3. It's on the S, it's on the X, it's on the Model Y. Even though Tesla hasn't officially introduced Hardware 4 and what it does, it's already on all of their cars, except the Model 3. So that should be changing with this new refresh model that'll finally give us some all new cameras. I should also mention there's been some speculation that we could see some new tire options. There have been various tires uh, rolling around these new Model 3s, but as of right now, info is very sparse, so we don't know what could change on that front. And um, yeah, a front to trunk redesign. We're gonna get hardware four. We're getting a, a hopefully a motorized frunk, maybe some new colors, new wheels. The exterior of this car is going to be amazing. And I think we can all agree this is going to be a very good look. But let's move to the inside and what changes could be under the hood, so to speak, and on the inside of the car, because this is where things get a little controversial. First though, let's start with the good stuff. A new upgraded audio system is going to be coming to the Model 3. That's gonna be really awesome to see. There's been a lot of questions as what this could be. It could be maybe more speakers. It could be the active noise cancellation, like on the Model S and Model X. That would be cool. We've heard the Cybertruck, for example, is gonna get a dual subwoofer configuration. Maybe that comes to the Model 3 as well. Not exactly sure what's going to change with the audio system, but the audio system should be getting better. And we're also gonna be getting some major changes to the front of the car, specifically with the dash. Tesla is expected to remove the 
not so loved, beloved, iconic wood trim, whatever you want to call it, uh, on the black interior option with a new sort of soft touch, maybe Alcantara-y uh, material uh, that is going to be a little bit more modern and finally replace the wood that's been in the Model 3 since it originally hit the road about five-ish years ago. Some other major upgrades include some RGB ambient lighting inside the car. That'd be cool that you could maybe control on your phone. Ventilated seats is finally coming to the Model 3. Hopefully this is standard. Cannot wait to see ventilated seats uh, coming in this refresh. And also we've heard that Tesla is at least testing a rear display in the back of the 3, similar to what you've got on the S or the X. So that is sort of a rear entertainment display used to control the climate in the back of the vehicle, but also could be used uh, for watching content, maybe playing games. Uh, unclear if this is going to be the exact screen on the S and the X. Also unclear if it's going to be included in all models or maybe an extra um, you know, option that you could configure. Not sure how much that could be. Not exactly sure how that is going to fall into place, but at least is being tested on the 3, which is a good sign, especially since the last couple of spy shots we've seen of the Model 3 include some camouflaging or some coverings of the back windows. That leads us to believe some more significant upgrades are coming to the back of the vehicle in particular, which is going to be super exciting. And then what is probably the most controversial change with this new refresh Model 3 is going to be with the steering wheel. Now, we've seen a lot of different interpretations of what the Model 3 wheel could be. It could look something like this, sort of squarish and round. We could get the yoke, like on the S or the X. We could get a regular old round steering wheel like what's on the Tesla Semi. No matter what the new design is going to be, like whatever shape it takes, uh, what is for certain though is that it's not going to include stocks. So those physical controls, those stocks on the left and right of the wheel, those will be going away as a as Tesla is transitioning all of their vehicles, S, X, 3, Y, even the Tesla Semi, to giving you a fully stockless experience by moving all of those controls onto the wheel in the form of touch sensitive buttons, first introduced with the yoke. Now I know for some of you, this means it's an immediate no-go for you to get this new vehicle. I mean, the three and the Y interior is sparse enough as it is. Many already wish there were more physical buttons and now Tesla is removing more physical components of the car. Uh, let me know down below if you like this change or not. Though I will say from personal experience, well, there is a bit of a learning curve and it takes some getting used to. After spending about an hour with the yoke, I kind of got used to it. And I actually kind of preferred having uh, my uh, turn signals on a wheel and being able to use the smart shifting technology on the screen to go from park to reverse and stuff like that. Not gonna be the uh, most seamless transition out there, uh, but I do think it is uh, not as bad as most people think. Though I will agree that it's probably not necessary. I'm not exactly sure what the reason is to remove those stocks. I guess less point of failure is maybe one argument, but uh, no matter if it's a good decision or not, looks like Tesla is moving forward with it. And that again means all of your physical stock controls are on the screen and shifting from park to drive and stuff like that is going to require a swipe gesture on the touchscreen itself. Also, speaking of controversial, let's talk price because pricing is gonna be one of the biggest factors at play here for many people to decide, should they upgrade their current Tesla? Should they maybe wait for what could be coming in a couple of years? Is it worth it? What do we know about the price of this new Model 3? And that is to say, I guess to answer that question, well, there's not a lot we know. We've heard from a couple of different sources, according to, I believe it was Tesla Scope, that pricing isn't expected to change all that much, or at least they said, according to their sources, pricing would be similar, but we have no idea what that means. And also, Tesla is known to change their pricing, like, on a you know moment's notice. Like on a whim, they change prices every couple of days. So who even knows if that information is still accurate? We don't know. There is already a notice on the Tesla website saying that uh, the incentive, the $7,500 federal tax incentive is expected to be changing soon. So that might give some owners or potential owners pause right there. And we just don't know what pricing is going to be. Tesla was doing a steady decline of pricing as the market sort of adjusted. We've seemed to have sort of leveled off a bit in terms of new and used car price. So maybe Tesla is going to use this opportunity to raise prices back up again. We just don't know as of right now what pricing is going to be. Also, in addition to that, you should know that if you are looking to buy right now, Tesla is looking to like liquidate their current Model 3 inventory. They're offering multi-thousand dollar discounts, especially in their existing inventory of pre-built cars. So definitely be sure you take a look at that because you could save four or five grand. Also, if you do use my referral uh, link down below in the description, you'll get $500 off a three or a Y or a thousand bucks off an S or an X and also three months of free FSD. So it costs you 
nothing. Actually, it saves you money. Just make sure you click that link. It'll save you at least 500 bucks. Uh, click that link down below if you are going to order and take advantage of those savings. And then two more things I want to touch on. One is the Model Y refresh, and then the other is when this new Model 3 is coming. So Model Y, to give you the Clip Notes version, long story short, it is expected to get all of these features. The new frunk to trunk redesign, the new colors, the new interior. Uh, it already has hardware four, but all that other stuff. It is going to get all those changes. The big question as of right now is when is it going to get it? We've heard recently that the Model Y might be getting a stopgap update. That is an interior update only sometime in the next couple of months as the bigger exterior refresh wouldn't come until the end of 2024. So basically, the Model 3 is gonna get the big refresh, it's gonna get all the new features, the Model Y will remain the same until a bigger refresh happens at the end of next year. So Model Y is not expected to change in any significant way for a while, though an interior refresh could be coming sort of in between right now and the end of 2024. As I get more info on that, I'll let you know, that's just sort of the rumors. As of the Model 3's release though, there's a lot we know about this because it's basically coming really soon. All signs point to a very imminent release of this vehicle. In fact, uh, Fremont just went uh, down with their production line of the Model 3 a couple of days ago as they look to be preparing for this. Giga Shanghai has done the same thing. Prototypes of this vehicle have been built. They have been weather tested. They are driving around the Bay Area all the time. It looks like this launch is happening very, very soon. If I had to guess, make like my best judgment of when this is going to come, I would say beginning of Q4. Looks like end of September is when Tesla is going to begin Cybertruck deliveries. Also a good time to release this new model. And as Tesla is doing one final push to get people to buy uh, existing inventory with the FSD beta, uh, FSD or not FSD beta, FSD transfer, um, sort of over to new vehicles and stuff like that. They're doing all these incentives. Looks like they're going to uh, try to do their best to clear out their existing inventory to launch this vehicle probably in Q4. So I would say September, October-ish is when this new vehicle is gonna be released, but also knowing Tesla, it could be tomorrow. It could be by the time you're watching this video. So the launch of this vehicle is happening very, very soon, likely, um, very, very likely before the end of this year. Uh, so be sure to stay on the uh, lookout for that because um, it should be coming just a matter of weeks from now. Guys, I'm curious, what are your thoughts on these changes? Your thoughts on the refresh Model 3? This is everything we know right now. Are you excited? Are you not excited? What's the feature you're most looking forward to? Are you going to upgrade? Let me know down below. And also do not forget to take advantage of that special Surfshark offer. Keep yourself safe, secure online wherever you are this summer, really wherever you are for the next 24 months. And uh, if you purchase a special 20 four month plan, you can get three months extra for free by scanning the QR code on screen, clicking the link down below and using the promo code Rosenfeld at checkout. Again, use that promo code Rosenfeld, take advantage of this amazing deal. And again, a huge thanks to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. Also, I'm doing a giveaway in this video. I'm gonna give you your choice. You could either win $25 of Amazon gift card money to spend whatever you want on, or you can win a free Tesla t-shirt of your choice, whatever I can get in the um, referral program. I'll give you your choice and you could win a piece of Tesla clothing. Um, your choice, all you've got to do to enter is leave a comment on this video, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Do those three things and I'll pick a winner in one week from today. Good luck to all of you. Thank you all so much for your support. I'm Robert Rosenfeld. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.